finding your property lines is important. for example, if you want to put a fence between you and your neighbors, then you want it to be on the property lines and if the fence in the end is not on the property line, then it can end up with a big fight with your neighbor of course you want to prevent that, so it's important to find your property lines and finding your property lines, you do with Appmos Survey Wizard. It is a land survey app that is easy to use. And today we will explain you how you can use it finding your property lines. First of all, we have to tell you that you can use the Appmos Survey Wizard on your Android phone. You can see all about that in this video up here. Of course, accuracy is not that great when you try to find your property lines with a phone. So to increase accuracy, you need some special GPS land surveying equipment. If you want to know more about that, then see this video up here. With this special GPS land surveying equipment, you can find your property lines exactly. So, then there are still two methods to find your property lines. First of all, you can open a file with the property lines. And then there is the option to fill in the coordinates of the property lines yourself. We will explain both options. So, the first method to get your data of your property lines in Amblos Survey Wizard is to open a file with the data of the property lines. So, to do that, you go to Menu, Open, we don't have to save it, then we go to the folder where the property lines are, and we select the folder. Then you select the file, and you click OK. Then the settings to check, and after that you can click OK again, and then it will open the file. And as you can see, here are all the property lines of the file. So the second method of uh, putting the property line data in Amblos Survey Wizard is doing it manually. For that we go to the draw screen and we are going to enter a point. So we fill in the X coordinate. and the Y coordinate and normally in your property line uh, coordinate there is no uh, Z coordinate but here we fill in a zero and then we're done and then you click OK and as you can see now a point is given and we do that another time and we fill again the X coordinate and we fill in the Y coordinate and again we fill in 0 for the Z coordinate and then we're done and then we click OK so now we have two points of the property line and we want it to be a line, so we go to line and we select the start point, then we change it to end point, we select the end point and then we click draw and now we have the property line. After getting your property line information in the Applos survey wizard, then finding your property lines is very easy. There's only one way and we will show it outside. I opened the property line, I'm in the starting screen I'm going to select stakeout because I want to find the property line and then I'm going to select the line it says a line has been selected I will follow the arrow in the left corner it says that I have to walk that way and as you can see when, while I'm walking that the cross line in the center is going to the start of the property line and I'm now at the start of the property line and it says going that way so I mark this point and I'm going to walk to that way and I'm now actually exactly on the line of the property I can correct myself a little bit all the way to the end of the property line. So this is finding your property line. 
as we told you in this video you can find your property lines with an android phone and the app lost survey wizard you can see in the video next to us why you should or should not use a phone for land surveying so check it out and don't forget to subscribe after doing both things you can start to find your property lines with app lost survey wizard